Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing another entry idea for your city island. Many of y'all have been asking me for more entry ideas and I haven't honestly had time to do them and I figured I would go ahead and tackle some of the requests that y'all have been leaving me in my comment section while I have no idea what my next theme is going to be quite yet. First of all, I want to say that this is not my next island theme. So this is kind of just like me testing out to see if I am inspired to work in fall and yes, the answer is yes. I had so much fun making this today. However, this will definitely not be my next island because I have several different approaches to fall that I really want to do first. That includes my New York inspired island and a fall rural Japanese theme. So let me know in the comment section which you would hope to see first because those are my first two planned fall themes. I also want to mention that if you're not working in the fall season, this would be a great transitional area as well and it will work for other city core themes too. You can definitely make the park area suit a different season, but I wanted to do something that implemented some natural aspects early on the city island because I've noticed that a lot of you are leaving comments about this lately how to incorporate more natural areas on a city island but you don't obviously want to do a natural so I thought that today was a great example on how you can do that you can also expand the dimensions of this and make a really big and great sized park area which is something I'm actually planning to do on my New York island so I honestly if I was gonna go for a more town core approach to this type of build, I think I would swap my road code. I feel like today's road suits kind of like a more modern big city kind of vibe. But when I started this build, I honestly had no idea what was going to happen. I just knew I really wanted to use a road. I am such a sucker for my city core islands. I swear every time I try to do something different, I always go back to city core. I don't know what it is. I just really like trash bags and roads like that. That's my cottage core. So bear with me as I am addicted to these type of themes and I'll probably always be doing them so if you're sick of city core I apologize but you are wrong because trash bags and roads are the best thing in Animal Crossing. Anyways a little off topic but another theme idea that I was kind of considering is finally testing out that monotone winter city but my dilemma is I don't want to start my winter islands too soon and then have nothing to do for the holidays so I think it would be wise to probably focus on fall themes. I honestly think I've only created and released one fall island. I'm pretty sure it's only been one and I know that for this year I've set a goal to have at least three different fall themes that are three different island aesthetics because I know not everyone is doing the same theme and of course my goal as a creator is to do as many themes as possible and a bunch of different vibes but we'll just see what happens because y'all know that I change my mind constantly and sometimes when I think I'm inspired for a theme I'm really not and that is like my <laughs> routine until I find my next island. Island. All right, so back to the build. Now that the main entry is finally done, we're gonna start on the small park area transition. As you can see, this area on the map is super awkward. Now, if you didn't wanna do a park transition, honestly, just placing your rep's house here would be such a great addition or even a villager home. But I'm trying to add more natural areas to this build. So we are gonna do a very natural park area. And I think that this is such a great idea too because it doesn't take up a lot of space and take away from your uh, city core feel. So hopefully this will give you some ideas and inspiration for your island. Maybe you're doing a city theme and you have this really weird spot on your map and you just don't know what to do with it. It's not big enough for a build. And sometimes the solution to that is a build like today, a filler build that doesn't take up a lot of space. I absolutely love this dirt path that we're using today. It's actually by Colin Crossing. I absolutely love every code that he releases. I use his codes probably on almost every island that I make. They're just super realistic and incredibly detailed. And if you are curious on any of the codes that I use today, I will always have them in my video's description. Just make sure you're scrolling down. They'll always be at the very bottom. All right, so now after I added a few more details to the park area, let's do a quick walkthrough. So I have an angled highway here that I actually didn't finish. If you're curious on how to transition from that, I recommend checking out my Tropical City Core content because we have a very similar build to that that has full transitions and more. I also tried to do a transition idea from the mini park that was also inspired by my tropical city but honestly any sort of transition from the other side of the park will work. Overall I'm very happy with how this build turned out and I really hope it inspires you. With that being said thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.